All right, this is going to be my uh, advanced tips and tricks for solving the cube for you 3x3x5. Three by three by uh, hopefully you watched the first part of this video. This is going to be some advanced stuff for those of you who are a little uh, more advanced at cubing. But, all right, just like before, you're going to get your uh, cross pieces. Okay, the little line underneath here. And then, instead of filling in the corners next, you're going to fill in your edges next. And the fastest way to do that is, see, this is the green-red one. What you want to do is line it up over the red instead of the green. And lift it up, place it in, and put it back down, just like that. See, here's the blue and red. It's lined up on red. We're going to put it on blue, lift that up, put it in, put it down in. Okay? And then from here, you should be able to easily fill in your corners using F2L tricks. Like, see, I got the white over here. I can just bring that up and put it over and then put it in. And if you really watch, you can fill in these pieces at the same time. So solving this whole layer can be way faster. Like for instance, here's the orange green. Let's find that orange green piece. Here it is. It's over top of this one. Now I know if I have an edge that's already slotted in normal and I have the corner that's above it and it's opposite, I just do R U R prime U prime three times and it's in there. Okay? Same with blue and red. Here's the blue red edge piece. The thing is you have two different blue red pieces. And you want to make sure you get the right one. You have to watch, because each time you have to watch because each time <clears throat> there's two different ones you have to figure out which one goes where so the best way to do it is put it over top of it and kinda slide it in there real quick and look and see yeah blue and red and that lines up that's the right edge piece so I see that's here and that's here so I know just from doing F2L so much I could put it in the back and do one of these and now that's filled in you could fill in your whole first two layers like that really quick Okay takes a little getting used to but once you get used to it you're good to go then you go ahead and solve your top like normal using OLLs okay now once you get that this is where it gets pretty neat because uh, instead of using this the corner switching algorithms like I was showing you you can make it a lot easier by uh, doing the T perm and the Y perm and every once in a while the H perm depend for your uh, edges, the middle edges but uh, in this case I got two that match I put them on this side over here and instead of doing that other algorithm which is way longer I just do a T perm and look at that, now all my corners are lined up now the same thing goes if you have no edges that line up none, 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 none you just do a Y perm and it'll it'll fix them all just like that green red and, and this particular method only works on this layer it doesn't work for the top and bottom layers you can only do it on this layer now looking at this see these edges here I see I got one solid bar now I can do another PLL to fix these too just like that and that's way faster See, this is where the Frederick method comes in handy in solving this puzzle. Then you proceed to solve the top and bottom just like you would normally, just like in my last video. Alright, now, you won't always be able to do a PLL to fix these because sometimes they're switched the wrong way. So, just do what you can. If you can do it, then do it. But if not, then you're just going to have to do it the other way, the slower way. Now, also keep in mind if you're doing after you get your corners lined up if you notice that all your middle edges are opposites orange red blue green you know you can do the uh, H firm and that'll fix them too alright alright that's it I hope that this has been helpful to you and hopefully it'll help you go a little faster but uh... I would like to note that if now if you can solve this puzzle doing those algorithms and everything now you can also solve this one 3 by 3 by 4 and you can also solve this one the domino by using all those same algorithms you can solve all three of these puzzles so that's it have fun